drone, they're like, All right, today I'm checking out Phil Collins. I'm listening to the song Sasudio. Let's get into it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Don't, don't mention it. Nice crowd, eh? Right. Uh, last tune, last tune. Let's try Sasudio, okay? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's our last song now. Thank you very much for coming. We're going to try, this is a tune called Sasudio. Okay, I'll pause it there. Not that it's hard to pause. I just didn't want to pause it because it's such like a dance bop. You know what I mean? You really sometimes you just don't want to pause songs. Other songs is like I can't find a spot. This one, okay, that was kind of the obvious pause point. Like before I let him start singing the next verse or whatever the heck he's singing, it's, just, uh, it's just hard. It's hard to bring myself to do it. No matter how many songs, it's sometimes it's just hard. You know, this is just, it's bopping. It's bopping. I guess it's some kind of young love type of song or something. I can hear the lyrics. I'm listening. Seems like he likes a girl who has an odd name. Her name is Susudio. I thought this was like sus and studio combined. That's why I said sus studio. I thought it was like a sus studio and maybe some crazy activities were going on in the studio that were kind of sus. That's what I was thinking. No, I think he's in love with a girl named Susudi Susudio, but she doesn't even know his name. But that's how guys are. We, we could just fall in love just like that. You know what I mean? Just, just lusty, kind of just looks alone. We'll, we'll think. We'll think we're in love with a girl. So I feel like maybe that's what he's you know, embodying that feeling of when you're, you're young, you don't know, you think lust is love and you don't know the difference between love and lust. It's like that. If she don't know your name, how well do you know this lady? How are you in love with her? You do anything for her and whatnot? No, it's just lust. This lady is probably very good looking. You know, she's probably double caked up. Now I know that I'm too
Those horns are freaking life changing horns right there. It changed the whole feel of the song. Yeah, you know I mean, you got the drums thumping, kicking. Definitely the drums alone give it this kind of upbeat, dancey feel. I felt like the drums are going back and forth between like regular drums and then some kind of synth underwater sound and drum. They're like, you know what I mean? They were going back and forth. But either way, drums were upbeat like the whole time. Yeah, that one little segment song in the second half. They got a little, you know, a little love songy, a little slow one. Huh? Drums were upbeat, but then when you add the horns, it like turns it into not just a dance song, but almost like a party or something. All the horns going, that really elevated. It elevated the energy. That's fine, largely. Well, I didn't want to didn't want to pause the song. We had plenty of upbeat songs and whatnot, but I don't know. It just felt almost celebratory. I guess he's celebrating his love for Susudio, even though he's he's not 100 percent sure if this lady likes him back. But it's just like that young lusty feeling, just being in that to, to find someone so worthy of lusting over is cause for celebration. At least your hormones are celebrating. They're like you know. They're pouring out the top of your head. You're just oozing pheromones and hormones. You're just so like, it's really a primitive thing. Like you're probably ready to mate. It's probably your ape brain. You see something nice and now you want to mate. That's probably what all the lusty stuff is about. But this is how his cells, this is how his testosterone sounds in his body. That's what I picture. With this kind of song, it's that, just that young lusty energy. I like it. I don't know. Tell me, man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road, you the go. She told me, boy, you the go. Like, I don't know. 